Deploying Aerospike on Amazon Web Services couldn't be easier with the Aerospike Enterprise Edition AMI and CloudFormation template, available on the AWS Marketplace and Quick Starts. This step-by-step -step guide enables you to painlessly deploy an Aerospike cluster on AWS using your own license. Or, if a license hasn't yet been acquired, the free single-node enterprise trial. To begin, Navigate to AWS Quick Starts by heading to aws.amazon.com slash quickstart. Use the search bar in the middle of the page to search for Aerospike and click the link in the results. This Quick Start allows for rapid deployment of Aerospike Enterprise Edition on AWS using current best practices. On this page, you'll find a link to the deployment guide for more details about the setup, as well as information about what you'll build, how to deploy, and cost and licenses. Click How to Deploy and navigate to Step 1, which requires logging in to an AWS account. Click the link to set up an account, or click Sign into the console at the top right corner of the page to use an existing account. Using the AWS Management Console, set up an EC2 key pair. This key pair will provide a secure connection to the Aerospike instance after launch and needs to be set up before creating the stack. Navigate to the EC2 console by expanding the All Services section and selecting EC2. Under Resources, select Key Pairs and click Create Key Pair. Enter a name and ensure the PEM file format is selected, then click Create Key Pair. This creates the key pair and initiates a download of the file. Take note of where the file was saved. It will be used later to connect to the database. Heading back to the quick start, proceed to step two and follow the link to Aerospike Database Enterprise Edition in AWS Marketplace to subscribe to Aerospike Enterprise Edition. Click Continue to Subscribe near the top of the page and after reading through the terms and conditions, click Accept Terms. The request may take a minute to process, but once complete, navigate back to step three of the quick start. Step three provides the choice between deploying in a new or existing virtual private cloud, or VPC. Deploying in a new VPC with the default setup builds an Aerospike database environment that spans two to three availability zones and utilizes a Linux bastion host for secure access to the Aerospike server, which resides within a private subnet. For this tutorial, a new VPC will be used. Click the link to begin the setup. Then select the AWS region that works best for the application from the top toolbar. Verify the stack name, this can be changed if needed, and review the setup parameters. In the VPC network configuration, selecting at least two availability zones is required, and the number of zones used must match the number of zones selected. For this tutorial, the remaining network configuration parameters will be left at the defaults. In the Aerospike configuration, define the EC2 key pair by selecting the key pair created earlier. Number of instances defines the number of instances to provision for the Aerospike cluster. If this is left at the default, a single node cluster using the enterprise trial license is set up. If setting up a larger cluster, an Aerospike feature key file is required further down the page. Leave the next few options at the default and move down to Instance Type. Since this is a single node cluster in memory database, the M5 large works well. However, Aerospike supports a hybrid memory architecture where, by default, indexes are stored in DRAM but can be configured to store indexes on an NVMe flash device. Data may also be stored in DRAM or on more cost-effective SSDs. To utilize this configuration, an instance type with local NVMe SSDs like the M5D Extra Large needs to be selected. Define the size of the EBS SSD in gigabytes, or enter zero if not using EBS. If a multi-node cluster is being set up, add the base64 encoded feature key file as well. Leave the Linux Bastion and AWS Quick Start configuration parameters at the default. Then check the boxes at the bottom of the page to acknowledge the required capabilities and click Create Stack. Once stack creation is complete, 
A connection to the Aerospike server can be made by first connecting to the Bastion host, then from the host to the server. To begin, open a terminal window and configure the SSH agent to add the PEM file identity. Next, connect to the Bastion host using agent forwarding. Finally, connect to the Aerospike server. With the connection established, open the AQL prompt and write a record to the database. Then read it back. Now you're ready to start working with Aerospike.